welcome to a new video I'm Carl and this is Carl Transformations UK alright this is another new project this is a 2008 Mariva 1.4 design just done a 450 mile trip to pick it up came in with a misfire which has already been sorted out we put a new cat, new lamber sensors new airflow sensor, new water temperature sensor and a few other little bits and the missile is gone and we're now out on a test drive to see what she's like and I'm going to show it off to you lot and start this project off got a nice day today, nice and sunny temperature saying 11 degrees not too bad, not freezing Hopefully it's not too windy so I can show you around the car nicely. But first things first, that seems to be a nice car to drive. All the gears are nice and smooth. Clutch is soft. Brakes work really well. Steering's nice. I think some tyres are going to need changing, but I've already got onto that. I'll update you accordingly as we go along. Exhaust is good. No wheelbarrow noises or nothing like that. So not a too bad start. I'm glad I got rid of the misfire straight away. I pretty much knew what it was when I bought the car. Got a few little marks around the car on some of the doors and a little bit of damage on one of the bumpers. Yeah. Getting attacked by a bee now. <laughs> All good fun. So yeah, we'll get down to our spot. And we'll have a little walk around the car. I'll show you the inside and the outside under the bonnet. see what's what and get started on this project. If you watch the channel you know I've been doing another Mariva in the background as well. Um, Mariva B, new shape, 64 wrench, but a lot of the, that's actually a crush damage car and a lot of the work on that has already been done now. It's just a case of realigning a few bits, need a couple of wings. yesterday that could have been there don't know <laughs> anyway so we're nearly out of spot from what I can tell so far the car drives really well we did actually take us out on a run yesterday and done about 40 miles and no problems whatsoever temperature gauge since where it sits the heat has worked really nicely radio and stuff like that works fine. All the displays on the car are now all working good. It's actually a very nice car to drive. Now it's not misfiring or anything. Being the 1.4 it's fairly nippy compared to smaller engine cars. Cheap to run. So it's all good. Being a design model I've got twin sunroofs, both electric. Electric windows, electric mirrors, power steering, you know, all, all the extra toys. Apart from someone's chucked a set of steelies on it. When I would have thought that would have came with a nice set of alloys from new. But obviously it's not new now. But I think we'll rectify that and we'll put something on it. I think we'll go for something like... What should we put on here? I don't know, a little set of snowflakes or something like that. And they look good on these. None of the So I'll sort out a set of them. Whatever I find while I'm looking. We'll sort that out. Well, we're nearly out of spot. I'll bring you back in a bit. We'll start looking around the vehicle.
Okay, so we're at our spot. So I'll spin you around and start showing you around the vehicle. So first of all, inside we have 87,000 miles, 758, which is not bad at all for the age. All right. Sorry if it's windy out here, but I'll do the best I can do. Let's take the key out and get rid of that noise, shall we? So the seats are in pretty good condition. Floors are dirty as usual. Dash and stuff needs to need a good clean. Same with the door cards and stuff like that. Back floors just need a good hoover and wet back. Seats in the back are quite stained and need a good wet back and a scrub, which we'll be doing. Here she is. So 2008 facelift model. One that's only up like that, ready for me to lift it to show you underneath there. She's quite dirty. She's got an odd set of steely wheels on at the moment for some reason. But that's how it came to me. Sort that out. We've got marks in the doors been touched in so we were either going to be painting that door or replacing the door sometimes it's cheaper to replace the door back's all pretty good just dirty again same on this side we've got a few marks where it's been scraped down the side of bushes and stuff like that obviously when we Give us a good jet wash and go through it properly. We'll be able to see if we've got any more marks. Don't think there's much else on the bumpers and stuff like that, but there is this little bit of damage here, which is this here. Not quite sure what's going on with that at the moment, but we'll have to do something about that. Might have to do a smart repair here just to get rid of that. Tire-wise, as you can see, nice tire, and again, nice tire. And the same with the back too, as well. All nice tires. Not very good matching pairs there. And as I say, it needs a set of alloys on it to make it look nice. I think it looks a bit of a well. It just looks wrong like that then I could put trims on it but it's a top model so we don't really want to be doing that so we won't as I say it's got the twin sunroofs on top they're all electronic from in here on these buttons you've got your old sliding and they just go backwards and forwards on both of them and they're all working because I've already been through them, they're working fine. Condition of the door cards and stuff are actually really nice. One thing I had bought already is I popped to the local scrappy, picked up a rear shelf, which is this one here. There weren't no rear shelf in here, and all these seats were laying down. Yeah, I would say there's probably been a dog in here because there's a few dog tears and stuff. So we'll sort that out, give that a good scrub, and get that sorted. Right, let's have a look under the bonnet, shall we? I've been under her a few times already, as I said in the video, because I had to do some repairs to actually get it running right in the first place. Picked it up on the trailer, like I normally do. So, to give you no idea of what's what. Needs a good clean, not up to my standard at all. Bit oily around the top here, but I think that's just where it's been filled up and then gone over the edge a bit. But we'll keep an eye on that once we've cleaned it up and see if it comes back. Looks like we've got an oil pressure sensor been replaced down here as well. Could be a gasket here, but we'll so we'll keep an eye on that as we clean it up. But yeah, and under here basically is just a good clean. Same with the headlights, so you just need a good clean and the buff to look shiny again. Both sides are just dirty and 
need a good buff. Radiator pack looks like this. It's a fairly new radiator in there. Still shiny. Water bottle's got a nice colour fluid in. Hard to show you. There you go. So hopefully been serviced well. The book pack and stuff like that says it's been serviced really, really well. There's actually thousands of pounds worth of receipts over the last few years. Showing that it's been serviced really well. For like cam belts and normal servicing and things like that. So I don't think we're doing too bad, not a too bad start. Obviously a bit dirty. Nothing we can't do. So I think the first thing we'll have to do is give it a good wash. The roof is not actually that filthy. I'm just coming up here because it's always around the top of these some roofs are green and this one is as well. But we'll get up here with the old little brush, probably a little toothbrush. Get all that out. Sort that out. Shouldn't be a problem. And we'll pick it up from there. All right, so next I'm gonna get it all cleaned up, I think. Well, I'll spiral the engine so I can see it a bit better. I'll bring you back once I've done that and show you. And we'll start work on it. Okay, so I'm now on my way up to Norwich. I'm gonna give this a good jet wash. We'll go from there. Get back once it's all done, and then I'm going to sort out some wheels. Well, I made the turn back, I'll go back home again. I forgot all my engine cleaners and stuff like that, my detergents. So I'm going to have to go back and get them, and I'll be going back up there again. As I say, I'll bring you back once we have yeah, the jet wash. We've done the jet wash, we'll go from there. Okay, so we made it up to Norwich, it took about half an hour. Now going to go into the jet wash I like to use. You should probably send on the channel before if you're a subscriber. Let's get some of this dirt off his car and see what we got underneath. Hopefully, no surprises. <laughs> we'll see. Let's give it a go. All right, I'll get this scrubbed up and I'll bring you back. Oh, well, we can't do that because that's not working at the moment, so I'm going to try and find another one now. I'm not quite sure where, but I'll work something out so we can still get this done. If not, we're going to have to put it through a car wash and do the engine by a late day. Alright, I'll see what I can find and I'll let you know in a bit. Alright, let's try again. Hopefully this one's open. Don't look like a bad wash, to be honest. Let's see what this one's like. So we've got to go in and pay for a keypad code. Alright, I'll go and do that and we'll give it a go. So I'll give the engine bay a good scrub with the old engine cleaner. Just squirt it everywhere like so and then just give it a good scrub like that. Work it into the greasy parts. As you can see we're Pulling up loads of grease, this should all get washed off now with some nice hot foam. Make sure you run your engine when you do this. Otherwise, you could end up with misfiring and stuff like that on the way out. Normally, do anyway, but that clears after a sort of 10 12 mile drive. Right, let's get some jet wash going, get a code in. See what the code is. 876933. Eight seven six nine three three. Should come on. And we've got a choice of these then. Hot shampoo, hot foam brush, high pressure shampoo, wheel cleaner, work gloss. So like we get 12 minutes. So I'll put get started. Go from there.
So that's all washed up and done. Got some donkey behind me pushing his horn and that, telling me to hurry up, even though I had five minutes left on the meter still. But there's always something like that about in there. Anyway, right, let's get this one back and we'll get started. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. Some some bloke sitting there in his works van wanting to wash it. He expected me to come out before I'd finished for some reason. <laughs> Had to go over and have a chat with him. Or have a word to be honest. Tell him I'm working just the same as he is. So wait your time. Get 12 minutes on the meter and that's what I got. And I wanted to wash the car inside and out, like I did. Some people just don't understand things, do they? Right, so I'm going to blast this down the deal carriageway, get all the wet off if possible, get it back home and then we'll decide what we're going to do next on this project. Right, so I'll bring you back in a bit. Well, it must be one of those days today. I just had a woman pull right across in front of me and needed to right off the front end of the car. That wouldn't have been good. <laughs> Good. All right, I'm gonna to head towards the NDR and give us a good blast down there and get it dry. All right, let's come round onto the NDR, give us a blast. Looks like I've done a load of road works and stuff here. I thought I'd switch you on, see the little planes in there across the road there. Foot down a bit, get it right off. Well, she gets up to speed quite easily, anyway. So the old plane graveyard down there. Judder at a certain speed, but it's not going to matter because we're changing these wheels. Quite impressive, it's still a nice day, isn't it? A bit windy, but. It's still got a bit of tax MOT on this car. I think it's got a couple of months left on it, but we're going to put a fresh MOT on it. Once we've got it all sorted to where we want it, the standard we want it at, we'll take it down and get a MOT check done. And get a full year's ticket. Painted. Obviously 
prime them first. And that'll be our first job. Alright, so I'll come back when I get back. As you can see after the wash is not looking too bad. Found a couple of marks now. Got some bits like this. Nothing I can't do obviously but just showing you what I've got. Stuff like this will be sanding out. Some more here as well. So we need to get rid of that lot. Quite a shine on it. Patch here I missed, it's not very good is it? Not looking too bad. So these are what I just picked up. You can see the snowflakes. You can see they need a good old rub down and sort out. Right, a bit worn on that tyre. Got two more in the boot. No one the same. No one the same. So a couple of the tyres are okay. Couple need replacing. Yeah, let's need paint. So we'll get them on sorted out at some point. Get them on the car. Next thing I'm going to do is give this a good hoover. Get all this crap off the carpet and seats. And see what it'll look after that. See if we can get some of that dog hair out the boot. Hopefully we've still got some light to carry on. Alright. Well, we'll give it a good old hoover. It's looking better. Still got stains to get out, but the seats and that are looking nice. You can see the stains on the seats. It's nearly dark now, so best I can do. Same in the back. It's tidying up. It took me over an hour to do the back mat. Absolutely covered in dog's hair. It's all stained up now, so I've got to go back and scrub with some cleaner. A wet back. Same with this back shelf, that's all we're done. They're not looking too bad. That's about as far as I can go today. And they've got to clean up some bits on the rover from getting the muddy wheels on it. <laughs> Dirty muddy seats, nice clean seats. Shouldn't have done that with the rover really. Won't do it again. Just that the after is full of fishing gear. <laughs> Alright. So that's all I can do for today. So I'm gonna to say thanks for watching. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share and all that stuff. And I'll see you soon in the next video in part two of this.